shoot. Darn it! Darn it! You messed it up! You messed it up because you looked at me weird and you knew it was gonna make me laugh, but it didn't make me laugh. It made me furious. I'm furiously angry at you. Forget it. We're not learning the song. For anyone who cares, I'm currently most of the way through season two. Season one, I thought, started off very strong. And then the second half of season one, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't bored. I just wasn't quite as engaged. But then season two, every episode has been a sports reference, like a home run. There we go, got one. Standard tuning, you need a capo on the second fret. And the capo is actually going to make things kind of confusing because we're going to be up here. So it's going to look like I'm on 13, but I'm actually on 11. We're going to have to figure that out when we get to it, which is going to be very soon because we're... Okay, let's just start the song. Standard tuning, capo on two. Would you please put your pointer finger... Here we go. On nine of the third string from the top. But here's the problem. It looks like 11. You can see my 12th fret right here. So this must be 11, right? No, because look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do your best with this, guys. I don't know. It's We're all in this together. So your pointer finger is on the ninth fret of the third string from the top, even though it looks like the 11th fret. And then put your pinky on the 12th fret of the second string from the bottom, but it looks like the 14th fret. This shape here is an octave shape and we're going to use it a lot in this song so get used to it sweetheart then take your middle finger and your ring finger and just gently touch all the strings with those fingers we, we don't want to push we just want to mute all the other strings so if you put your pointer finger and pinky in the right spot and then just rest your middle finger and ring finger there and strum all the strings it should sound like this how does yours sound does it sound like that or maybe it sounds like this that means you're pushing too hard with your middle finger and your ring finger. Relax those two fingers. Or maybe it sounds like this. That means you're not actually touching all the strings with your middle finger and ring finger. So make sure they're just laying flat right on the strings like that, you guys. All right. On this, do you remember what it's called? It started with an O octave right here we need to do some tremolo picking tremolo picking is basically where you strum down and up as fast as you can that's not actually true we don't want to do as fast as we can we want to get eight strums in in two beats which means we're going like one two it's it, for most of us it means playing essentially as fast as you can so here's my little tip for tremolo picking don't do it back here because in your pick like falls in between the strings i do it up here and then the actual fingerboard keeps your pick from like getting stuck in between the string and you're just gonna go down up down up down up down up let's do it nice and slow down up down up down up down up one more time guys after the eight strums on this octave right here you're gonna keep your hand in the same shape but you're gonna move it up one fret so now your pointer fingers on 12 oh shoot darn it your pointer fingers on 10 looks like 12 your pinkies on 13 looks like 15 and do eight strums on that chord then slide your hand back keeping the same shape one two three frets so now pointer fingers on seven looks like nine pinkies on 10 looks like 12. After your eight strums on this octave, you're gonna move your fingers one, two frets up, back to the first octave we had at the very beginning. Let's go ahead and play those four chords. I guess they're not actually chords, they're octaves. But in my book, if you play two notes at once, it's a chord. And yeah, I know what you're gonna say, but Uncle Stewart, they're octaves, it's the same note. Yeah, but not exactly. I Okay, something's eating away at me. I watch it not with subtitles, I watch it with the English dub. But I have a really good reason why. The reason I watch it dubbed is because I need to play Diablo 3 at the same time. And if I'm keeping my eyes on my Demon Hunter Nephilim, then I can't watch the subtitles on the screen and I have no idea what's going on because I don't speak Japanese. Uncle Stuart, you need to focus on it. It's very engaging. I know, but I have the inability to focus on one thing at a time. Shocking, I know. Also shocking, I don't speak Japanese. Did I already say that? Let's play those four chords, octaves, things. Let's play those first four things all the way through, very slowly. One, two, one, two, here we go. Down, 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 up, 
down a buck a buck a buck a buck a buck a buck a All right, so far so good. We just finished up on nine and twelve. Now you're gonna keep your hand in the same shape, but move it back one, two, three, four frets. So now pointer fingers on five and pinky is on eight. You do down, up, down, up, down, up right there. Then keep the same shape, but move your fingers one, two frets up. So they're on seven and 10. Okay, so far so good. Now we're gonna move them back again. One, two, three frets. So pointer fingers on four and pinkies on seven. Do eight strums there and then slide them up just one fret to five and eight and do eight strums there. We wanna practice all that, but first we need to review it because I went through that very quickly and I also just said way too many numbers. I was like four and seven, five and eight, nine and 12. No human being could possibly keep track of all of these numbers. Here's how we're gonna think of it. Instead of thinking of both frets that you're playing at once, we're just gonna think about the fret your pointer finger is on and your pinky is always gonna stay the same distance away from your pointer finger. We've got nine with the pointer finger first and pinky's down here on 12, right? So pointer finger's on nine, then you move your pointer finger to 10, then pointer finger seven, then pointer finger nine. So we're just thinking nine, 10, seven, nine, and then we're thinking five, seven, four, five. Let's go through all of it. Nine, 10, seven, nine, five, seven, four, five. Let's play it. A one, two, here we go. Nine, 10, seven, nine, five, seven, four, five. We're doing great. After that, we act like we're starting it over again. We, we do start it over again. We're just not gonna play the whole thing. We go nine, 10, seven, nine. And then you stop right there and you go down to here. You go to one on the second string from the top and three on the third string from the bottom. You still wanna mute all the other strings. We're not doing tremolo picking anymore. We just strum this once, then go all the way up to nine and 11, strum that once, then, oh my goodness, you go to seven and nine. Okay, so we just did one, nine, seven, then strum the seven again, slide it up to nine, and then play seven again, and slide it down to six. So here's what we just did. We went Please play just that part with me. One, nine, seven, seven, slide, seven, slide. Oh, uh, one more time, gang. One, nine, seven, seven, nine, seven, six. We've completed the intro to the song. Let's play the whole entire intro all the way through. One, two, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Oh. So we actually wanna do it much faster than that, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the verse riff, which is the coolest part of the song. It goes. But I have to tell you a couple things first. One, we just learned the lead guitar for the intro. I actually think the rhythm guitar for the intro might be even cooler. It's just not as recognizable. So we are going to learn the rhythm guitar for the intro, but let's not do that yet. Let's learn the verse. We'll put some distance in between us and the intro for a bit, and then we'll go back. We'll learn the intro guitar rhythm uh, part played by Mr. Great Escape. Did I, oh, I didn't even say the name of the song. This is Great Escape by Cinema Staff. Theme from Attack on Titan. You guys knew that. You guys are smart. 
I'm always, you know what? I'm blown away by how smart you guys are. In the comments, you guys are always saying such clever things. I'm so impressed. You say things like, do more duster tutorials. You know, I mean, a dumb person wouldn't say something like that. It takes a smart person to say that. All right, my stomach just made a loud noise. Uh, so that was one thing is we're gonna learn the rhythm to the intro later. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is you should probably, uh, would, if, would you be, uh, could you subscribe to the channel? Thank you. Another thing, I don't know, the verse is pretty hard. Let's get started with it. Verse starts off like this. You're gonna play the top two strings open. Immediately after you do that, use your middle finger to hammer on to the seventh fret of the second string from the top. So you just smash the top two strings with your pick, and then you smash the second string from the top with your middle finger. So it's just like that, beautiful. Then put your ring finger on seven of the third string from the bottom and pluck that note and then put your pinky on seven of the bottom string and pluck up on that note. So it's bonka, bonka. Let's just practice those like three and a half notes. Bonka, donka. Here we go. Bonka, donka. One more time. Bonka, donka. Great job. Then play the top string open and lift up your middle finger. And then after you play the top string open, hammer on to the top string on seven with your middle finger and then immediately after that pluck up on the third string from the bottom again which still has your ring finger on it so now we've got this one two one more time great then Play the top string again with your middle finger still on seven, and then slide your middle finger up to eight. At this point in time, you're gonna put your pointer finger on seven of the third string from the bottom and pluck that string. So now we've got this. Bonka, 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 ba, bonka, ba. Here we go. Bonka, donka, bonka, ba. I missed so many strings just then, but here's the good news, guys. You are allowed to miss the strings and it will still sound good. This is a very percussive, rhythmic guitar part, so the important part is to have that That's the important part not the notes so much. I mean, you would like to get the notes correct, but it's not as mandatory as you might think. Let's try playing all of that through like three more times. That's almost Spanish for three. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two, one, two, three, four. job. So you did that slide from seven to eight, and then you played seven on the third string from the bottom. Then you play the third string from the top open, then play the bottom string open, and then play the third string from the top open. So that last little bit was slide from seven to eight, then play seven on the third from the bottom, then play third from the top open. Oh shoot, darn it. Then play bottom string open, and then play third string from the bottom. All right, I think we're ready to try to play the whole verse riff very slowly all the way through. One, two, here we go. And bonka, 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 ba, bonka, ba, gonka, ga. Well, now there's only one thing left to do. We have to play it two times in a row. One, two, three, four. I said darn because I played a wrong string, but remember what I said before? You're allowed to miss the strings. It is permissible and it's uh, mandated by county. We play that riff once 
all by itself. We do the intro, then we play that riff just one time, then the singing starts and the rest of the band joins in, and we do that riff four more times. At the end of the fourth time, instead of playing those last few notes, instead we're gonna go So it goes like this, it goes One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I know what I'm talking about. I got really tired all of a sudden. Immediately after the bucka 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 bucka, we just start it again. We start the riff again, we play it another four times for the second half of the verse. But at the end of the fourth one this time, instead of going, we're gonna go like this. So what I did there is I played seven and slid up to eight, just like normal. And then I played eight three more times. And that's the end of the verse. Let's go ahead and play the whole entire verse all the way through, all nine times through it, because we have the one time with the guitar by itself, then four times for the first verse and the chukka chukka chukka, then the second verse or second half of the verse, we do it another four times with the bo da ba ba ba. Here we go, whole entire verse, nice and slow. One, two, nice and slow. Fantastic. What a stellar performance we just had. Obviously, you're gonna wanna speed it up, but don't do it yet. It is crucial that you get the rhythm locked in at a slow tempo and then gradually speed it up. Don't just rush in with your horns blazing, trying to play it fast. It's gonna, it's gonna be pain for everyone. I'm, I'm feeling bad today. Let's learn the pre-chorus. After you do all of that stuff, then it goes like this. And that's the pre-chorus. Let's do it. All right. It's kind of like Blackbird. If you guys played Blackbird by the Beatles, a lot of similar chords. You're gonna start with an A minor seven chord, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, mute the top string with your thumb. You're gonna strum up, up, hit. So it's It's got that little like offbeat rhythm. It goes one, two, three, four. Uh, uh. Play with me. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. One more time. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. Great. Then we switch to a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a B minor-ish, kind of. Pointer, uh, po pointer, uh, po pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. And then you want to mute all the other strings. So we're only hearing those two. If we're being completely honest, when I play it, this third string from the bottom sneaks in a lot, which makes it sound like a G chord, which isn't exactly what I want, but it's fine. I'm not gonna bush any bushels about it. Then you're gonna go up to three with your pointer finger on the second string from the top and five on the second string from the bottom with your ring finger. We're doing that up, 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 up on each chord. So, so far we've got. Then move your pointer finger up to six and have your ring finger on seven. Let's play all four of those. One, two, here we go. 
this point in time, we have more of those octaves, kind of like the intro. We're switching from the rhythm guitar to the lead guitar at this point. Put your pointer finger on nine of the third string from the top, looks like 11. Put your pinky on 12 of the second string from the bottom, looks like 14. Use your middle finger and ring finger to mute the other strings. And we're gonna go play that once. Let it linger for a moment. Then move your fingers one fret up to 10 and 13. Play that 10 and 13 twice. I recommend you strum up, up, down for those three octaves. One, two, here we go. Up, up, down. Then, now notice we're doing these octave, the octave shape we were doing in the intro some more. So instead of thinking about where each finger is, we're just gonna think about where the pointer finger is. So we just did nine up to 10. Then we're gonna go seven and then nine again, then five, and seven, and then four and five. So we did nine, 10, 10, seven, seven, nine, nine, seven, I buy five, seven, seven, four, four, five, five. Let's do that very slowly. One, two from the ninth fret, here we go. Four. One more time. Now let's start at the beginning of the pre-chorus, which was and then look. Let's try it. Let's do it a little slower though. We'll go bang gong bang gong a one, two, here we go. This is difficult. Then we do this thing again, the blackbird thing again. This time, instead of going up to the octave thing, we're just gonna go to seven with the pointer finger on the second string from the top, and ring finger's gonna play eight on the second string from the bottom. And on this chord, we're gonna strum up, up, down, up, down, up. Up, up, down, up, down, up. Let's practice that part, starting from here. One, two, three, four. So good. We do the blackbird thing again. And then this time, after we get to the six and seven part, we do something completely different. Top string is open. Put your ring finger on seven of the second string from the top, pointer finger on five of the third string from the top. You're gonna go up, up, then move, get rid of your ring finger, put your middle finger on six of the second string from the top, up, up, then Get rid of both those fingers, put your middle finger on five of the second string from the top, ring finger on five of the third string from the top, up, up. Then keep your ring finger on five of the third string from the top, but put your pointer finger on four of the second string from the bottom. So we just went like this. Uh, 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 uh. What's happening is we're keeping this fifth fret on the third string from the top the whole time, but the second string from the top is going seventh fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. They call that a line cliche in the arranging world. No one cares, but I'm telling you to take up time, I guess. Okay, then we do the blackbird thing one more time. <laughs> This time, after we get to six and seven, we go up, up, we just stop. We just freeze, and that's the end of the pre-chorus. Let's play the whole pre-chorus all the way through. One, two, not too fast, this is fun. Did it? How'd you do? How many scales out of ten would you give yourself on a pattern machine? That's not very many scales. You're gonna want to improve that number. I'm on. I want to see you get up to at least twelve scales on your pattern machine. I've gone completely delirious because I have stopped having 
any fun making this video. I was very excited about it. I liked playing the song, but then I just realized there's so many parts and it's just, I don't wanna do it and I don't understand why you keep making me record this video today. I'm so excited to learn the chorus of this song with you and to teach it to you. The chorus goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Starts off with an F major 13 sharp 11 chord, pointer finger, first fret top string. You also would like your pointer finger to just barely touch the second string from the top and mute it. Put your ring finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Everything else is open. We're gonna strum down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. You do that twice in a row. One. Two, let's give it a try. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then we switch to an A minor seven chord. Pointer finger plays one on the second string from the bottom. Middle finger plays two on the third string from the top. Mute the top string with your thumb and go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then get rid of your pointer finger. This is now an A7 sus2 chord, and you do the exact same strumming once. Down, 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 down. So we do the weird F chord twice, then we do the A minor 7 once, and then we do the A7 sus2 chord once. One, two, let's do it. Down, down, up, down, up. We have to do that three times. After you do that three times, we switch to this chord. It's like a, some sort of a D minor chord. You put your ring finger on five of the second string from the top, pointer finger on three of the third string from the top, pinky on five of the third string from the bottom, mute the top string with your thumb, and go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, then just take this exact same shape, move it one, two frets up. So now you have a ring finger on seven, pointer finger on five, pinky on seven, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's the chorus, it was great. Let's play the whole chorus all the way through. One, two, here we go, and F, two. We've made it to the ending of the song. Ending of the song goes like this. Ah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then something else that we're gonna do. So what I just did there, you play five on the top string and five on the third string from the bottom. Mute all the other strings. So my pointer finger is just leaning down to mute the other ones. You're gonna strum down. Then you're gonna lift up your fingers to mute all of them and strum up. As you do that, you switch to three on the top string and four on the third string from the top and strum down. Then come up on the muted strings again and go to one and two. So that was like, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom. One, two, here we go. Boom, ka, boom, ka, boom. One more time, gang. Boom, ka, boom, ka, boom. Then there are two beats of rest. It goes boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, um, um. Boom, boom, like that. And we do it four times in a row. Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, here we go. Boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, boom. Now we 
we go to the ending, which goes like this. Starts off exactly like the intro. You're on nine and 12. You go bugga, 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 and then you move up to 10 and 13. Bugga, 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 and then you go to seven and 10. Bugga, 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 up to nine and 11. Bugga, 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 bugga. Then you go to five and eight. Bugga, 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 seven and 10. Bugga, 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 bugga. And then you go down to three with your pointer finger on the third string from the top, and your pinky plays eight on the second string from the bottom, and you go like this. Ba, 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 ba. It's six triplets. Triplets is where it has that like, oh, uh, eh, oh, eh, oh. It's where you're cramming three notes into the space where usually only two notes would fit. Ba, 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 ba. Then, I, I was playing it here, but we're gonna actually do it up it, I. I'm gonna teach you a way that's easier and cooler way to play it than I was doing it earlier. So after we go one, two, three, four, five, six, then slide up so your pointer finger's on seven of the third string from the top, pinky's on 10. We're still doing that octave thing and we're gonna go one, two, three, then move two frets up. So you're on, what is that? That's nine and 11. Play this one once, then move up one, two, three, Flipping, dipping dots. I can't even know what happened to you. Your pointer finger goes seven, 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 nine, ten, twelve. But you keep the octave thing going the whole time. So it's blam, 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 blam. So you go blam, blam, blam on seven, seven, seven. Then you go two frets up, play that once. Then you go one fret up, play that once. Then go two frets up and play that once. And then you can give it a little slide off if you want. Yikes, this was brutal. This was really brutal. Let's play the whole ending all the way through. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh. The intro to Great Escape by Cinema Staff goes like this. One, two, three, four. Sounds fun, right? I think this is gonna be really fun to play and I'm really glad we're doing it. Start off with an E minor chord, top string open, then second fret, second fret, open, 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 open. You're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up. That's the strumming we're gonna do for the entire intro. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then go all the way up to one, two, three, four, five, six on the second string from the top with your ring finger and four on the third string from the top with your pointer finger. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then get rid of your ring finger, put your middle finger on five of the second string from the top. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then go to two on the second string from the, then go to two with your pointer finger on the third string from the top. With your ring finger, play four on the second string from the top. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Get rid of your ring finger, put your middle finger on three of the second string from the top. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Go back to E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then at this point in time, we have to go to this F sharp chord. This is how, how the guy in the band plays it. He doesn't do a bar chord, he does this, I'm pretty sure. Ring finger plays four on the third string from the top. Middle finger plays three, third string from the bottom. Pointer finger plays two, second string from the bottom. Mute the top string. Actually, you'd love to mute the top two strings if at all possible. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go to a B sus four. Pointer finger plays two, second string from the top. Ring finger plays four, third string from the top. And pinky plays five, second string from the bottom. Your pointer finger is not barring, it's muting all the other strings. And then your pinky slides over into four on the second string from the bottom. And that's how you do it. That's when it goes in, it goes Let's play that whole intro nice and slow. What? Two, okay, wait, actually I have a really good idea. We're gonna play that new intro that we just learned very slowly. 
Then we're gonna try to play through the whole rest of the song afterwards. So what we're doing is instead of doing this, at the beginning, we're doing the rhythm guitar. It's you, you'll get it, whatever. Nobody's watching, you're fired. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's too fast. Don't go back, go bunk, go one, two, three, four. I knew that wasn't gonna work, never mind. Guys, it was really fun knowing you. Unfortunately, I'm never gonna see you ever again. Um.